Hello guys, today we're gonna do something fun. We're going to teach you how to use the Dragon medical device, the Dragon dictation system that's created by Nuance. And it's important, why? Because most hospitals in the United States nowadays have a, a real-time dictation system in their facilities. And even in the um, residency programs, the clinics, they have a dictation system. Why? Because in the past we were dictating notes uh, through a transcribing service. And let's say you dictate now, the, the note will be transcribed in three or four hours, then they will send you a draft, then you will have to proofread, and then finally sign for the note to be available. But now you dictate in real time with this little guy, and your note is available in real time too. Okay, so let's introduce you to the microphone first. This is the microphone created by Nuance. It is widely available in all over the hospital and it connects to, to the computer um, through a USB port. It doesn't have many buttons, it just has all these. The important one is the red one. Once you push it, it starts dictating in real time. So let's take a look at this. Okay, let's start by opening the application this is the application. Double click here will bring you to this screen where you will enter your credentials. And select what do you want to use? You want to use the microphone or do you want to use the mic mobile? And the mic mobile is the one that you can use on your phone. And I don't like to use it much when I'm in the hospital. I like to use it when I'm at home, dictating from home. So I like to choose the microphone and it's gonna bring you to this little, um, it's gonna open this little thing that allows you to dictate in a dictation box if you want to do that. Um, so to, to start dictating, just click on the, uh, push the red button and it will turn the red light into a green light and it will start identifying your voice. Comma. You have to wait until the the red light turns into a green light for you to start dictating. Otherwise, the initial part of your dictation will be lost. Also, sometimes this uh, dictation takes a little while to up, upload or to transcribe what you're dictating, but it's normal. It's a, it's a software. It's trying to do its best. You know, it's far from perfect, but it's... I, I believe it's better than the transcribing system that we had in the past. Anyways, so this is just uh, a test and you can dictate on this box when you're browsing other patients' notes, two or three notes uh, at the same time to collect more information. Um, but you cannot directly dictate, for example, into your email or into a Word note. You have to dictate into this dictation box. Okay, so now we're going to um, close that window. We're going to open a test patient to do a, a note. This is a test patient, no personal information. This is a, a fake patient. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a, a patient note. So go to documentation and opens this here. We're going to add an HMP note, and this is a template for the HMP note. It's very simple. It's, it only has the medical requirement parts. So again, I'm gonna bring this little thing here so you can see how the red light turns into green when I push the, the button on the microphone. And what it does is I select where I want to dictate here, abdominal pain. The history of present illness, male patient, comma, 27 years old, comma, with abdominal pain for three days, comma, progressively worsening, comma, associated with nausea and vomiting, comma, with severity of seven out of 10 period. Now I'm gonna use a, a smart phrase. So I just dictated on my dragon. It identifies that it's one of my smart phrases and it will bring it up. My ROS. Now let's do the same with the physical exam. Brief physical exam. Now, 
on this patient, the GI part is not normal. So on my template, everything is normal. So I'm just gonna delete that part and say what abnormal findings I got on this patient. Tenderness on per patient on right lower quadrant, comma, no rigidity, comma, no rebound, comma, bowel signs are positive, period. And finalize the note with the assessment and plan. Acute appendicitis, comma, next line. Localized peritonitis, next line. Leukocytosis, next line, next line. Plan, next line. Admit to inpatient telemetry, comma, continue IV antibiotics, next line. General sur surgery consultation, period. So here I have to prove read that I dictated surgery twice. And that's it. Of course, this is not the way I dictate a note, but it's just an example for you to see how I use the dragon. So basically the only button I use for, for my microphone is this one. I tried before to use these other buttons, but at least for me, it makes things more complicated. So I just really rely on this one here. So this was, all about how to use the dragon uh, there is more to it if you want to create um, templates for example if you're into that uh, you have you want to have all your templates ready so you go to this part here it's called the auto text and it has a list of all what is already created but if you want to create one just click on the on the plus sign it will open this you have to name it let's say chest pain and here dictate the content that you want for this. Male patient with chest pain coma for three days, period. So it dictates this and now you say apply all, close. And it's ready to dictate it. My chest pain. my chest pain let's do it again something wasn't right manage out text now we're gonna do our own chest pain so let's say i want to say chest pain I want to name it my chest pain. Spoken form, chest pain. Um, uh, let's do something here. Male patient with chest pain for three days, comma, taking aspirin or nitroglycerin at home, period. So go to apply all, close. Remember the name on this is my chest pain. And let's see if it brings up my chest pain. See, it brings it up. And that's it. You sign and submit this note, and that's all you need to do. Well, thank you very much. Bye.